Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen, welcome to my home. Tonight we will be making chili. I'm getting ready to show you my version of a quick, lazy chili. And when I say lazy, I'm talking about we not finna boil no beans. We gonna get the beans right out the can. Whatever we can get out these cans, we gonna get them out the cans. We have our turkey. We're doing a turkey chili. Ground turkey and also turkey kielbasa sausage is going in this chili. So the ingredients I have here, we have garlic, onions, garlic powder, onions, fresh garlic, tomato paste, ground cumin, red peppers, two types of beans. I got black beans. I got pinto beans. I have this diced tomatoes and green chili right here. We have paprika, onion powder, and chili powder. And also, we have this chili kit. I've never tried it before, but I've had it before. Someone gave this to me, and they make this, they make their chili with this, and it is so, so good. Their chili is the bomb.com. So I'm going to see if I can duplicate their chili a little bit and kind of tweak it. So we're not cooking the beans. The beans are done. And once the beans are done, that's just half the battle. Now, let's get to this chili. The thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the ground turkey. This is two pounds of ground turkey. I have a little bit of oil in here. We're going to let that fry up. I'm going to add the onions at this point. This is two medium-sized onions. This is a nice sized pot. I'm going to add the turkey kielbasa. Let's get it all in there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to let this cook. I'm not going to add the fresh garlic or the seasonings as of yet. So let this cook probably, I don't know, probably about 10, 15 minutes. But I'll be back to check on it and to stir it up. And I have this cooking on medium heat. You don't want it to cook too fast. But this is one of those meals that should be ready in approximately 30, 35 minutes max. Remember, this is a quick, lazy chili. So we're using canned beans and once the beans are ready that's just half the battle. The turkey, kielbasa and onions have been cooking for approximately 10 minutes. A lot of liquid. A lot of liquid. I think this is one of those type of pots that throws off lots of liquid. So you can cook this like in a pot like this or you can cook this in a cast iron frying pan. And if you cook it in a cast iron frying pan, remember to spray the pan good with some cooking spray. And also add some oil to the pan because cast iron absorbs moisture. It will cook that moisture right out of there. Okay? So, we're going to let this cook for about another, I'm going to say, 10 minutes because I would like for some of this liquid to absorb. It'll be 5 or 10 minutes and then we'll be back to this. 15 minutes total. Now we're going to add the beans. What I did was I poured the beans in the colander. Rinse them off. Got all that starchy starch off of it. All that extra. So we got two cans of beans. Black beans and pinto beans. And these are 15 ounce cans. Some people don't like beans in their chili. I know my husband didn't. He All he wanted in his chili was meat, meat, more meat. But me, 
I'm a bean person. I love beans and my chili. Okay. Let's add the diced tomatoes and green chilies. Okay, I'm going to add the tomato paste. When I do tomato paste, I always cut the top and the bottom off, so all I have to do is push it straight through. It makes it so much easier. Let's add some hot water. That's plenty. I'm going to turn the fire up on here. We're going to let all this incorporate, and I'm going to add the fresh garlic at this point. This is four cloves of garlic. We're going to put the top back on it and let this cook for approximately 10 minutes. And then we'll be back to see what it looks like. Remember, this is that quick, lazy chili. Get the food on the table in less than an hour. This is 10 minutes later. Let's add all the seasonings. Not all, but most. And remember, you have to taste as you go. You don't want to make it too salty. You want just that right amount of flavor. And now I'm going to add that chili kit. But I'm going to taste this first to see what it tastes like. And I chose turkey for my chili. You can use pork. I love pork chili. A pork shoulder roast is the best for making chili. Taste this and see what we got. And you're going to use the whole shebang. A lot of people don't know this, or maybe they do know it. Maybe I'm on the late show. But if you're making chili and your chili's not thick enough, you want to add some masa flour to the chili. Masa flour is so good. They use masa flour to make tamales. I use masa flour. Oh, it's thickening up really nice. I use masa flour to make tamales. I've made tamales before. And I use it in my cornbread sometimes. And it gives your cornbread a beautiful texture and a wonderful taste. Masa flour. Don't sleep on that. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's add a little bit more water. Because we don't want it too thick. Bend it out a little bit. Let this cook for about five or ten minutes. We'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to add some butter. I always like to put a little bit of butter in my uh, chili. So this is like three tablespoons of butter that I'm putting in here. We're going to add three tablespoons of brown sugar. And I already added, doing my little taste test. I've already added the pappy seasoning because I haven't put any salt in here until a few minutes ago when I added this pappy seasoning. It's all about flavor. It's all about taste. You have to constantly taste the food to make sure it's to your liking. If you need more water, add water, but only add it a little at a time. Don't overdo it on the water.
Five more minutes. This chili is ready for the table. This chili is ready. Yes, it is. The consistency is good. I'm going to do a last taste test because I have not done it since I put the sugar and butter in here. We're going to see what it tastes like because remember, it's all about layers and layers of flavor. For me, this chili is on point. It's not real spicy. If I want spicy, I'll do spicy in my bowl because everybody doesn't like spicy. I like spicy, but I'm not just cooking for me. So I have to take other people's taste buds into consideration. But there you have it. That's our chili. And this took approximately 30, 35 minutes to make start to finish. Quick, easy, simple chili. Just get it on the table. Everybody got some canned beans in the um in the cupboard, in the pantry, whatever you call it. But make you some chili for your family. And not only can you have you a nice bowl of chili, have you some crusty, crunchy French bread. I found this French bread, not French bread, but this homemade rustic artesian style bread I found the recipe and oh my goodness it is so so good and I made two loaves a few days ago and they're gone so I made another loaf and this is a wheat I mean a wheat bread with the uh, different seeds on it and this is really good so I made this so I'm gonna have this along with my chili Yeah. Well, it's already cool, but I can handle it. Or have you some crackers? Have you some um, tortilla chips? You can make your own tortilla chips. You don't have to buy them. You can just make you some tortilla chips. You can make you some nachos with this chili. You can make you some chili dogs with this chili. You can make you a chili burger. You can make you some chili fries. You don't have to just eat chili the way it is. Just jazz it up and have it the way you want it. But that's my time, everybody. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit that subscription button. Hit that notification bell. Give me two thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Share this video with others so others can see what your girl eating with food for thought Roberts is doing over here. If your chili is not thick enough, remember in that chili kit, there comes a masa package. And also they have a small package of cayenne pepper. If you want it spicy, if you don't want it spicy, omit the cayenne pepper. If you need it a little thicker, add this masa flour to some cold water, stir it up, add it to your chili. And it's going to thicken up really nice. For me, the chili, for me, is perfect. Okay, if I need it thicker, I would definitely use masa flour. And I have a big thing of masa flour that I like to use, like I told you before, in my cornbread, make tamales, in my chili. So if, this didn't, if I didn't have this, if I didn't have that little chili kit, I already have masa flour. I keep that. That is a staple in my kitchen. That's just like having sugar and salt and pepper. Those are staples. And masa flour is a staple in my kitchen. Thank you everybody for stopping by. Thank you everybody for supporting me. Thank you for um, watching my videos. I think this is video number 131 or 132 that I have made. And I started making YouTube videos. I believe it was October 31st. 2019 and to date I have approximately 131 videos posted and this will be posted soon very soon and again I thank you 
Don't forget, subscribe. Bam, bam, bam. And again, this bread recipe that I found, this bread is so, so good that I just had to make another one. So I made this one with wheat flour and seeds. And we're going to see what that tastes like. I didn't put the rosemary or the garlic in it. And the only reason I didn't do that, I forgot. I was so excited about making another one because the other two I made, my son got one, I got one. It's all gone. But thank you, everybody. Have a good dinner. Have a good night. Have a good evening. Thank you for coming into my home again. And I will see you on the next video. I'm out. Thank you.